Criminals are targeting unsuspecting victims at ATMs in our area, swooping in and stealing your cash as soon as you walk away. CBS 13's Ron Jones is in Fairfield with how the victims are giving away the key. Police tell CBS 13 that the victims are so focused on the transaction, they have no idea that someone else is focused on them. Well, now Fairfield Police wants you to focus on the lady in this ATM surveillance photograph. The mystery woman is accused of engaging in what's called shoulder surfing. So basically what happens is the person comes up behind you at an ATM close enough to where they can watch you enter your PIN number. Detective Catherine McCormick says the victim's PIN is quickly memorized by the shoulder surfer. And then when you leave the ATM, they rush up quickly and enter that your PIN number back into the machine, which starts a new transaction. And if the victim does not make sure that their ATM transaction is over, the bank account is now exposed and violated. From there, they can do anything that you could do at the ATM and withdraw money up to whatever your max, daily maximum allowed is. There are reports of shoulder surfing thefts throughout the state. Definitely seen an upswing in this. This is where our cards go in. Mary Layton, a branch manager with Travis Credit Union, says there are no reports of her members being victimized by shoulder surfers. She says her bank teams up with law enforcement to educate customers about how to keep their cash safe at ATMs. Police advise when typing your pen, cover the ATM keyboard with a free hand and never let people get close. If it looks like there's too many people standing around the ATM, then come back another time where the drive throughs are really the safest. Now, Fairfield detectives say they are working with the Benicia Police Department. They believe the same woman in the surveillance photo may have victimized bank customers in that city, too.